I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Flawless. What's up, you guys? My name is Ryan Thomas Woods, and today you might be thinking, Ryan, why are you not filming in your normal place? And the answer to that is that I've been in my bed for 24 hours watching Netflix, eating Oreos, having friends bring me Starbucks if they want to say hi, did not feel like getting up and filming a video. It is the summertime. I'm going to fill in my bed. And I thought, you know what? I might as well get a Q&A video going because y'all are going back to school. So you know what? I thought I would do another Q. And I yeah. Eden asks, when school starts, instead of doing my work, I always have an urge to watch YouTube or Netflix. What do I do? Watch YouTube and Netflix, girl. <laughs> That's easy. Angela, what do I do when I can't get my Starbucks during school? Um, Colin sick? Yeah. That's what I would do. CJ asks, how do I get everyone at school to stop disliking my existence? Good question. What I used to do is go up to them and be like, hey, if you like me, give me a big thumbs up because it really helps the bitch out. And if you don't, then unsubscribe and get out of my life. You don't let them dislike your existence. You dislike their existence and like just ignore the haters. Katie asks, what was your favorite thing in school and how has life changed now that you're out of school? Well, Katie, my favorite thing in school was like, Lunch, recess, um... 2,000 years later. Yeah, that's basically it. I also really loved just hanging out with friends and just having classes that generally interested me and I learned a lot from, whether that was like cooking class, cause y'all will have to cook when you leave school. Contact class where I got to learn how to like Photoshop and edit. It's like made me do what I do now, which is amazing, but not math class. Not those freaking equations that I'll never freaking use in my entire life. Like, no, bye. This is real, this is me. And the second part, how has life changed now that you're out of school? Life has gotten so much better. High school was just so filled with drama and like he said, she said and worry that you're gonna get bullied and shoved into lockers. So life after school has been great. You don't have to see the people you no longer want to see. You don't have to do the things you don't want to do. Phantom Girl asks, what should I do if my teacher is really hot? Oh my god, girl. I had a similar situation. Came into school on the very first day, took my class and the teacher was just so hot. I ran up to him and I was like, stop, drop, and roll. You're on fire. So that's what you do. Elizabeth, I have to ask, I'm a senior in high school and I need to pass math. Do you have tips on how to pass it? Uh... <laughs> Tori asks, what are some good excuses when I'm lazy and didn't do my homework? I've had this situation before. I just said my internet was down, my electricity went out, like nobody has candles to like do some homework on candlelight. Oh shit, no. Teacher, I swear I don't have candles. Like I had no source of light to do my homework. You can understand, right? Kids don't listen to any of these tips. Fitz Delore asks, do you have any tips for college back to school? Yes. The one tip I wish someone told me when I was going to college university was like, there are so many free monies out there for you. Like scholarships, bursaries, everything. You just have to look for them, enter and like apply for them. Just apply for all of them. All you have to do is fill out your name, why you need the money. I just said why I needed money and then said please and thank you afterwards. And I actually got some bursaries and free money, which helped me for like schooling after high school when you have to pay for it. So just apply for scholarships and bursaries. Honestly, that's like the best advice I could give. Taylor asks, first year of high school and I feel like the kids from the other middle school won't like me. What do I do? The only thing you can do is just be yourself and as corny as that may sound, people are gonna like you for who you are and there's gonna be people who dislike you for who you are. You can't please everyone. You just need to focus on the people that do like you over those who don't because those who don't are not worth your time. And when you focus on you, people will like you for who you are and that's all you need to do. Maddie asks, what was your experience growing up an LGBTQ plus teen in school? Let me just say, I went to a Catholic high school that was filled with rednecks who just didn't even understand what LGBTQ meant. So there was no coming out in high school for me because it was just literally like throwing 
me into a tank of piranhas. I'd be eaten alive, be thrown more into the locker than I deserve. I waited till after high school, and for me, it was just a personal choice, and it was the best choice I could make. Just kept it a secret um, amongst my group of friends that I felt safe around, that we discussed it, they were understanding, and some of them were going through the exact same thing. So yeah, that's my experience. Hopefully that helps. You? Megan, how to make a good first impression on the first day of school. Honestly, dress to impress. I would have worn this on my first day back to school if I was going back to school, but I'm not. So, dress to impress, smell nice. I honestly felt like the very first impression I got of someone was just like based off their scent. I don't know if I'm weird or not. People that smelled nice, I automatically just got a good sense of feeling that they were nice people. Now, I'm not talking about you boys who like spray that freaking ax like, it's like your mother freaking shower. Like, no, take a shower, spray a little bit. Not the whole bottle, okay? This isn't a Febreze commercial. But yeah, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as it really helps the bitch out. So, how the bitch out? Also, leave a comment down below if you have any more questions for going back to school. I will be answering as many as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay fabulous and flawless. And I'll see you in my next video, girl. Bye! I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Flawless. Oh, my neck.